But what do you guys think? Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Would you guys get an electric dirt bike? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think that's the wave of the future? Or do you think we would just be losers if we did that? Quiet everybody. Quiet on the set. Get going, Luke. Let's see all the presents that you don't deserve. Wow. Super Mario. I totally Party. didn't know you were gonna get that. I wanted that. I honestly don't remember half the stuff I asked for, so. Oh, it's a book. You have to read all of those before you get to play your video game. Not, not the jokes. Joke books. Yeah, all joke books. I like joke books. This is very light. Good looking out, Lillian. Put the army guys in here. Let's suffocate them. Into the gas chamber they go. Uh, it's the game know. called Four in a Row. Oh, no way. I'm so good at this. I can get four in a row like every single time. Hey, this one. The giant L stands for Lucas. Or loser. We're gonna hang it on the wall. I used to have these, but then they probably got lost. I lost. Mm -hmm. What is it? What is it? Is it a scooter stand? Yeah, what are you gonna do, Luke? What are you gonna use this scooter I'll stand for? Scooter. Yeah. You can go to the skate park, and if there's a kid with a scooter, you could help him stand it up. You'll be the most popular kid there. You pogo stick. Pogo stick. Two more, man. The two biggest ones. You gotta learn how to do bar spins on this, okay? That's gonna be how you learn bar spins. How's your donut, Lillian? Yeah. What? Yeah, I may have to borrow that to get to work. Yeah. Exactly. Let's get it charged. Oops. Why don't you get a sharper knife, Luke? Oh, can you get it? Got it. Whoa! Okay, what kind of scooter is this so people... Prodigy, it's the MB scooter. Prodigy. Here you go, Luke, look. Look how sick this thing yeah. looks. What? Okay. So sick. Should we do a scooter video with the boys Hi, riding scooters you. and me on the electric skateboard? Uh, yeah, there's, there's a mile limit skateboard. on the scooter. I mean, the skateboard. Just saying, you might want to check that. Not 200 pounds. <laughs> I don't weigh 200 pounds. <laughs> Can we ask why the week happy this day? Can we like go somewhere to play my old scooter for celebration because I have a new scooter? Oh yeah, good idea. Oh wait, it's that scooter. Now all we need is a trampoline. Think I have a will? Big boy, you did all in one bite now. Okay. How's your plain cheese, Lillian? <laughs> Is that big enough for you, Mason? My feet way too big. Hold on, Luke. Jason Frolic says Luke needs to shift more. Why? Can you say, can you thank Jason Frolic? Say thank you, Mr. Frolic. Thank you. Okay, tell me, tell me a joke, Luke. Let's see how funny this book is. How does a cow get to the office? How does a cow get to the office? He moonwalks. What do you get when you cross a dinosaur in gunpowder? Uh, what do you get when you cross a dinosaur in gunpowder? Uh, I'm not telling you. Put a shotgun of source. No. Is it a shotgun of Taurus? No. Guys, comment down below what you think it is and don't wait until you know what it is to comment. 
Okay. Dynamite. Dynamite? <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Why shouldn't you stare at the turkey dressing on at Thanksgiving? You will get arrested. Because through this Me Too movement right now, it would not be appropriate for you to be staring at turkeys dressing. That's why. It's 2018, Luke. You cannot stare at a turkey dressing. Today is Lucas's birthday and we asked him what he wanted to do. We said he could do anything he wanted and uh, after after he did his chores of course, like after he did the dishes and threw the cats away and stuff. After we did all that, I said we'd take him anywhere he wanted to go and you know what he wanted to do? We drive by this all the time. We've never ridden it. He wants to ride the tram. They should like let you do bungee jumping from there. <laughs> down there walking up the stairs. <laughs> Sucks to be you, dude. Don't worry about Purple House. Clean your ring gutters, guys. Come on. Mason, get down! Mason, stop. You know how you have a KX65? And you know how you want to get a YZ65? Well, guess what? Did you give me a YZ65? For your birthday? Yeah. No. So KTM just announced that they are coming out with an electric bike for kids. How would you feel about getting an electric bike? An electric KTM dirt bike, like a KTM 65, but it runs on a battery. You wanna go look at them? They don't have them yet, but I think I wanna run by the CC KTM dealership and talk to them and find out when they're coming in stock. So Luke, the advantage of the electric dirt bike is that you could ride it through the neighborhood. If we had a backyard, you could ride it in the backyard and the neighbors wouldn't hear it or know anything. Like they wouldn't know we had a dirt bike track in the backyard. It would sound like a golf cart going around the backyard. Maybe that would be kind of cool. I want both. Or you could get both. Yeah. Or you could both. do that. The battery only lasts like a half an hour or an hour if you're going kind of easy. The battery lasts a half an hour, which is enough to do a moto, and then you'd have to charge it and then or do- Or you could just have another battery. Or have another, or you could have three bikes. You could have two electric dirt bikes and two dirt bikes. I don't know, it might be cool. If we had the money, I would get both. You don't have money? If I had the money, I would get both. But an electric dirt bike would be cool, and it could be, that could be where the world is going. Someday when your kids are grown, maybe they will only have electric dirt bikes. Maybe there won't be gas powered dirt bikes hover anymore. Dirt bikes too. Maybe they'll be hover dirt bikes, yeah. So this will be a step in the right direction, Luke. This will help you get experience and com comfortable for the future of hover dirt bikes. Hey, so want to call. It's a wannabe El Camino.
65 right there. Yeah. All right, well, there we go. We just left CC's KTM. It's a pretty cool bike shop. They only have KTMs, but we still like them anyways. Um, nice guys. They're helpful. So what? here's what we found out. The electric bikes don't come out in the states until next fall so they announced it already but we're not going to get it for another year or so which is i guess kind of good for us because we probably can afford one right now anyways but here's the thing electric bikes the cool thing about them is you could ride them anywhere if you follow josh hill on instagram he rides an alta electric bike and basically does like urban motocross he goes around through la and hits skate parks and goes and through washes and alleys and jumps over parks and things and the guess what the cops show up but they can't do anything about it because he's not on a motorcycle it's it's a battery powered awesome bike so i think that would be awesome i would love to get one if i had the money it'd be cool to get the kids one because they could ride through the neighborhood you know cause havoc ride over people's grass and knock over their trash cans and people wouldn't be able to do anything about it. We're just kidding, we wouldn't do that. But but it would be cool. It would be cool to have a quality dirt bike that you could ride anytime, anywhere, and not get complaints about the noise. That would be awesome. So I think maybe Luke's right. We may get a YZ65 for him and maybe also get some electric dirt bikes too. You know if we're ever financially able to i think that would be awesome but what do you guys think comment below let me know what you guys think would you guys get an electric dirt bike do you think it's a good idea do you think that's the wave of the future or do you think we would just be losers if we did that my cameraman base. Let's go drop the camera. I'm gonna jump it one more time and you get a shot of me, okay? Bye. No, Mason, come on. Bye. 